interesting phenomena which happens only in the holy tongue, Hebrew, I wrote in my book, Letters of Fire, a book which came with few editions, in a book on which is written, in the back of the cover, in Letters of Fire by Matita Glerson explores the wondrous world of hidden meaning in the letters and verse of the Holy Tongue. This realm of mystical splendor, where even the very form of each letter has profound significance, is revealed here in a language and style that enables every reader to discover the astonishing insights of Kabbalah and the teaching of the sages. So this is my book, that so far came by Peldheim. Then many other editions came in <coughs> Russian, Spanish, French, Hebrew. So there is a chapter in which I am concentrated of very important idea, which is only in Hebrew, we don't find it in English, when verse having the same letters in the same order, but different meanings, amazing. So it means the same verse, the same letters, you put it different way, then you have uh, different verse. Like in chemistry, yeah. if you take the elements and put them different way, great change. It's a very important idea about the greatness of the Hebrew letters. The Hebrew letter with which the world was created, very famous idea, it's about in my book and my other books. Letters of fine other books showing clear connection between the Hebrew letters and in everything for the basis of creation of the Hebrew letters, like we mentioned, the Rashid Barai Lokim Et, in the beginning on creating the heaven and earth. So in fact, the word the is not necessary. Yeah, it's written. In the beginning God created heaven and earth. What is the heaven? So so Kabbalah says that the Hebrew word et, based of Aleph and Taf, the first letter Aleph and Taf, indicating to the whole, in fact, the word was created with 22 letters, yeah, 22 chromosomes. <laughs> yeah, and uh, definitely this is why in the Hebrew letters you find so many ideas through the letters. So, as I really mentioned, important to know that this book was translated by Shlomo Fuchs, Shlomo Oshri Fuchs, and uh, was edited by Mrs. Tabak, what she passed away. And in fact, it's an interesting book, as the editor wanted every source. So in the end of my book, you have a few pages with sources of every, everything was, so this is a great advantage. So let us speak now about the verse with having the same letters in the same order, <laughs> but different meaning. So in fact, uh, it was before the old chapter, which I also bought chapter six. So we encounter this interesting phenomena. And this is a uh, a phenomena which is only in the Hebrew language, as we said, not in others. Two words are spelled with the same letters, in the same order, but have different or even opposite meanings. Yeah, you are such a thing, amazing. This underlying significance of this phenomenon is, uh, is that we create as we creatures of flesh and blood are limited in our perception. The perception, definitely, of a human being is limited, cannot see everything. We cannot fathom the profundities of the ways by which the Holy One, God blesses him, conducts his world. As a result, certain events appear to us to be uh, as destructive disasters. So when 
in truth, their purpose is to rectify and perfect the world. Take the example. You put a seed in the ground, waiting for a nice tree or flower to come. Then what is happening down? <laughs> and yeah, so if you'll be able to see, you see, oh, this seed is almost going into pieces. <laughs> Comes, right? Then suddenly something come out of there and sparks and a nice tree comes out and I see. Right? So the first stage is look like who? Negative disruption of this beautiful seed. I mean this is also Phenomena before Messiah, you know, like we have today, you know, fighting and uh, all these troubles that we have today. This is an introduction to the Messiah. As we said, many interesting ideas behind verse to do with Messiah, like Tzemach ben David, the plant of David. What is the plant of David? So the commentator said, how the plant comes out, as we saw, rottening, and so on. The same thing, the period before Messiah, unfortunately, I don't think there is explanation why, but this is, it is interesting that we find in the book Kohelet, yeah, yeah. Solomon, this is what he says, everything happens as it does to everyone. On this, the sages expound creatures of flesh and blood wound with a scalpel and heal with a compress. But the only one gets his wounds and heals with the very same thing. It's amazing, yeah? <laughs> if a person is strong in his faith, belief in God, definitely and understands the ways of God's providence as revealed in the scriptures of events of life will serve to illuminate how God conducts his creation. On the other hand, if a person has not had the opportunity to learn to learn, those very same events will only increase his doubts and further we can his face in God. And this is exactly what is happening now in Israel. You can see all these leftists, all those who are fighting against religious, against Orthodox, yeah. Simply ignorance. They don't understand what is the meaning of commandments, yeah. Uh, the attitude to women, you know. So much about women. I wrote a book, Revelation about marriage, which shows so much about the attributes of women, about the blessing behind living properly Jewish life. Yeah, but people ignore and never mind, like we have today, leftists never learn, don't know to run. So they see everything the same light, like, you know, the gentle non-Jews, yeah. You know, the Chazanich says, you know what is different between love by secular and by Jews. Love, yeah, which is really something sublime by Jews, is heavenly death by secular, because it's a punishment, differently of living not pure life. So it's very interesting to see this phenomenon, and very much depends on people, observation of this world, so, on the other hand, if a person has not had the opportunity to learn Torah, those very same events will only increase his doubts and further weaken his face, as we said, because they look into the phenomena which take place in narrow mind, in, in narrow in look, like looking only what is now. He said many times in my book, which I brought also, almost a lot in my book, a letter so far, which you can get in my side address on that home or Amazon. 
that can but I bought an amazing idea, the evil word truth. Truth is a met. Yeah. A letter a word with three letters. The first one Aleph. The first letter represents past. Name represents present like Medaber in Hebrew. Also in English, medium. Yeah, medium. And Medaber Mishachek, the letter Mem is a letter which makes the world present. Then Taf is Tase, future. You will do, you will do. Because to have the proper look or sight of anything is only when you look from the beginning to the end. But if you only said, like to do, you know, unfortunately, it's secular. Those ones, they only, they only they are secular. They said, forget our past, we have to try a new thing, like Lapid, the world, let's try, let's try, a new forgetting the past. So it means he did not want the other, the past. No, what happened to the world they made truth without all of his mess? Death, disaster, mess. They make a mess of himself. This is exactly what happened in Israel now because unfortunately they don't go according to the Torah. Yeah, according to the Torah which requires Shabbos and other things. So we see what is going on. So it's amazing to see this phenomenon everywhere. There's very interesting prophecy, the prophet Osea. You know, Osea, he really is a after us, but we are going to read part of the Bible in the Shabbat Shuvah and the service of repentance. This is part of his Oshia, the prophet Oshia. So very interesting, he refers to these two types of people, in people <laughs> with a positive look, with a negative, and he says the following, you can see it in the book Oshia. The ways of God are straight. The right, the righteous walk in them, while the wayward stumble in them. Yeah, it is really the word teukalu, you see? Teukalu, a word which can mean positive and negative, destroying and build. On this basis, we can understand why the word keles, in Hebrew keles, is really means negative careless, something really derision, yeah. But from the other side, careless is also praise. So unbelievable, right? it can be. So this is exactly what the prophet says. The ways of straight, the ways of God is straight, but righteous look on the right way and the big is the wrong way. It means the word achol, ochel, food, eating, but achol is nechal, is also, is also to be destroyed. So the honest and righteous in their face express praise for the Holy One, blessing Him, for those very events which trigger the region from the wicked and the ignorant. Yeah, unfortunately, you see. If you look in Jewish history, you know, Holocaust, pogroms, and so on, everyone thought, 